Last week, we told you about the Outlaw Cave in Marlow, Oklahoma. This week, learn more about the brothers who made it infamous. It's not just a story about outlaws. It's a story about justice, a story of redemption, dedication, and staying to the task to the very end to really base your life around discipline that uh, really will bring you home every time. And that's what we use to raise our kids by. So uh, they were five boys of uh, Dr. Marlowe who had a medical practice in Marlowe Grove right on the Chisholm Trail. And one of the things that was a, a part of the cattle herds is that uh, rounding up the strays and then you could sell those strays back to them. You know, you can only make the assumption that these guys understood numbers and uh, one can only make the assumption that a little help along that mission could be supplied. Well, things usually don't go as planned. Whenever you create that type of a reputation, it winds up being, well, it was probably those outlaw brothers. And that is exactly what took place. There were 40 horses that got stolen over in the Wichita Mountains close to Fort Seal. They were really unable to uh, convict anybody with that. You have to understand, our nearest court was all the way down into Graham, Texas. In Graham, Texas, it was obvious a mob had been formed uh, for redemption against the sheriff that had been shot. They realized their only way of survival was to be transferred out of Graham to Weatherford, Texas. While they were being transferred, the mob was waiting in ambush on Dry Creek. On Dry Creek, they're ambushed. Four brothers were there. Two brothers were killed. They're shackled one on one. Brothers cut their brother's feet off in order to escape. And as they escape, they uh, are later taken back into custody with the understanding that they will be transferred to Weatherford, Texas. In Weatherford, Texas, they do receive a fair trial. Before that happened, the fifth brother, still in Marlowe, Oklahoma, was poisoned by his sweetheart in order for the $1,500 reward money that was on his head. The Marlowe brothers were vindicated. Judge McCormick told them that never had he seen anyone hold off a mob that was that kind of dedication to prevent a dishonorable demise. So it was a, a story that should be dedicated to song and the, in Marlowe community, that's exactly what we've done. And that's what we use to raise our kids by. And uh, whether it be football, whether it be going to college, or whether it just be starting all over after a failure. So it's, it's, been, a, it's been a great tool for this community to live by. It carries the theme, never give up. Justice will prevail. If you have made a mistake, you can correct it and live through it. So never, never give up is what the story of the outlaws are. Explore bankfirst.tv for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard.